Hello and welcome to another episode of the e-commerce coffee break podcast. Today we want to find out how a sales assistant can help you when it is based with AI and how it can increase your conversion rates. Now that's a big topic because AI has become a very big part of every merchant strategy and there is a tool that really can help you and I had a look at it and it's really impressive. So with me I have the founders of Upright AI, Thomas Arul and Priya Samant. They are experienced tech entrepreneurs with a deep expertise in AI and have developed Upright AI. AI, a AI driven sales assistant. This tool not only facilitates the conversation of website visitors into active buyers, but also maximize product additions to the shopping cart. And that's what every version wants. So let's welcome them to the show. Hi, how are you today? We are doing well. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for having us. Give me an overview why a AI sales assistant makes such a big difference in the customer experience. So um, I will start with uh, it. Many years ago, I was an entrepreneur myself in this space. Um, and while my products were selling uh, uh, through a, one of a very big uh, national retailer, I also had uh, a presence on Shopify. What I um, envision, what my challenges at that time were, when I was talking about my brand, when I was showcasing the story of my product, the sales were very high. But that was not the same experience when, you know, on the store. So fast forward with the evolution of AI and uh, with the tools that are available right now, what we felt is, and because Thomas and our other executive uh, uh, team also comes from the retail tech background, we thought that through having the AI sales assistant, if you're a hustler in the Shopify ecosystem and just starting out, or you're a small business, a medium business to an enterprise, if they have this assistance, then you know the knowing about their brand to a larger audience and different territories around the world, as well as uh, elevation of their shopping cart would happen, as well as the customers would get a tailored experience. So it's a dual balance between augmenting the revenue uh, through elevation of shopping cart and giving the tailored experience to the customers. So from my background, um, and I've been an um, entrepreneur for almost 20 plus years. I've worked with a lot of retail st and startup. Uh, we built the, actually the first mobile app for Staples, BJ's. Uh, this is like 2010. So with AI coming in, we saw the real power of how it can help retailers, especially the merchants. And Shopify is one platform where there's you know, millions of customers. We want to see how we can kind of leverage the power of AI. And for a merchant to get into AI is very hard. So we want to kind of be the conductivity of that, how do they can get a personal sales assistant. Not only, uh, the best thing about the sales assistant is it's very very, very, very easy to install. It takes less than five minutes. They can just go to the app store, click on install, and what the AI assistant does it, and they can train what the, the name of the AI assistant. Like, I want to call it Lisa, and they want to call it as a personal shopper. Uh, we have one using it for pet grooming. We have one for selling candles. We have one for selling wines. Uh, one is sommelier. One is a bartender. Whatever character you can give to that, and also give a backstory for that, and click install. Within few minutes, it learn all the products. You know, some of the customers have six thousand products. It learns all the products, it learns all the pages in Shopify, and it's ready to work within less than five minutes. And the most important thing is that as a merchant, I'm always wary of installing something and in, you know how it behaves. You know, because really AI sometimes hallucinates and stuff. But we have trained our models to only talk about your product, your company based on your information. And you can also set what to talk, what not to talk, what are the different prompts you can give. You know, hey, if it's uh, someone is selling wines, they can say, you know, best scotch, best wine. Someone is selling, uh, you know, candles. You know, these are my favorite candles, top sellers. Someone is selling clothes. They can specify what prompts to give. And most importantly, they can preview how the AI responds in the Shopify app store before they even deploy it. Like, you know, I install it, it learns the product, learns all the pages and hey, you want to test it. You want all the employees to test it before you want to make it live to see all your customers. You can just chat, preview the chat, talk to it, ask any questions. And if you don't like some of the questions and answers, you can always train the model. So that is, that is what we have. 
Yeah, and just adding to what Thomas said is, um, I would love to give us just a very recent story of one of our customers that he was sharing. So we were there at an event um, and um, he was so proud of the AI sales assistant because he was showing it to other folks there saying that, you know, this is the assistant and uh, happy to share um, because they have beautiful candles that they share Kavala Studios. They are a, um, a Metro North Boston based um, uh, company. And they made this beautiful candles and they have their AI sales assistant that is helping them talk about, you know, their brand and also helping them with the sales. Mm -hmm. I want to dive a little bit more into characters. I think that's a, a really good point. Um, you mentioned you have a sommelier, you have a bartender, and I went to your website and checked it out. And it, it's really impressive. I, I really like it. Uh, tell me, how do you facilitate different characters towards different stores, different brands? What's the best way to, to approach this? Absolutely. So I think one of the things is that we want to give the flexibility to the merchant. So we have these 10 pre-trained characters, a sommelier or a bartender. Uh, but if a merchant is doing something, you know, which is different, you know, they don't have the character, they can create their own character uh, with the new version. They can upload their pictures. And some of the, one of the, some of the, we are given pre-trained characters, but a lot of our customers say, hey, you know what? I want to upload me as an avatar because I'm the sales, in the face of the company. And they can upload that. They can give a backstory to them and give a backstory to their products. And also our product learns from their Shopify pages, you know. Uh, there could be two types of pages. One is the public pages, what people can come and see about contact, uh, returns, uh, company information. Also, if there could be hidden pages that you want the AI to understand. Hey, this is other, you know, company, something like you want to talk about a specific product. You know, one camera company is working with us. They have, you know, 5,000 reviews of all the cameras, you know. The customer so they want to put those hidden pages such a way that our ai can understand that and talk about it so the characters are pre-trained uh right now what you see is the picture can uh, picture uh version of it we have a gif version of it shaking and we also we have plans to have a video version of it uh, in the near future mm -hmm. and priya mentioned in the beginning when you were talking in person to customers you could explain much better and you had much higher conversion rates now with having a, a ai sales assistant um do you have some numbers to, to that show um in regards to conversion rate or um, time on site how does that impact the the user behavior yes so we actually have analytics that actually tell that you know uh, how many products got added to the cart and all that stuff like how many chats were um you know uh driven are our, our uh, AI sales assistant. So all those analytics are actually available in the admin page. And it's, it's you know, it's such an easy navigation. So even if you're not very uh, technically savvy person, anybody that manages your admin will be very, very easily able to navigate and actually learn those numbers and then tweak the, 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 the characters to make sure that, you know, they actually talk the language that the, the, the brand wants to uh, share with the public. So one thing, customers. yeah, just to add, you know, typically, you know, the statistics shows that Shopify, uh, one person conversion rate, um, that, and we want to increase that at least by 100% to give you two, two to five per three percent. So that's what we are striving for. And a couple of things, what happens in the real world is that sometimes when you do a search for a product, you make a spelling mistake, you know, you don't get the product. Also, sometimes, you know, there's specialized things you want to do, like, you know, hey, I want a red with black stripes, you know, a lot of the products can't do it. And we just the beginning, you know, we have uh, features where you can just pay. Hey, I saw this picture of someone wearing this specific dress. Can I have this dress? They can upload the image. And using AI, we can search for that image in the catalog. So a lot of the new features are coming. One thing is that there's really two types of company in my mind. One, companies that are going to use AI and succeed, or other companies are going to watch other companies using AI succeed and they go down. So AI is changing so rapidly. Uh, it's so exciting because we want to have a specific area called the sales assistant. You know, a lot of chatbots, um, you know, which are much more customer support driven, but we want to get into AI chatbot. So one of the challenges we saw is early when we started, you know, having a chat, just a bot uh, to talk, people were hesitant to click on it because they were thinking that, hey, you know what, it's a customer support. So based on a lot of feedback, we are making them interactive. You know, they come 
the avatars come live, they talk to you, they, then they go back and if you want, you can interact. Instead of just being a chatbot, we want to give the face of the avatars as a, you know, placeholder in all the Shopify merchants so they can click on it and talk to it. The avatars can be an AI picture. It could be their brand. It could be themselves. You know, if some if some entrepreneurs, you know, most of these Shopify customers, entrepreneurs were like, hey, I want to create a brand and they are the face of the company. They, like what we want to do is if you walk into a store, you get an experience. They greet you. Uh, they ask you how you are and they talk complete, you know, they know the product in and out, what is there, what is not in stock, the product details. That same experience, we want to give it online in Shopify. And this wouldn't have been possible six months back or last year. And with all the improvements in AI, we see that there's a huge potential for this and this is happening as we speak. And it's much faster. No, I definitely see the advantages there. I mean, everyone had sort of a uh, disappointing experience with a static chatbot. I mean, these chatbots are around for a very long time. But as you said, Thomas, they only can do certain things. And if you have a typo in there, they won't understand you. And with a personal assistant, if you walk in a store, I mean, if you're very unspecific, they still will understand what you're looking for. Or they might get an idea and come back with the right recommendation there. Now, talk me a little bit into the, the setup. You said I can even have my own face, which I hopefully no one will do, but <laughs> my own face as an avatar. How does that work? It's very simple. All you have to do is uh, you know, go to um, in our uh, Shopify app store, install our app. And which is upgrade.ai. Upgrade.ai. And once it'll ask you to, you know, it'll start looking and learning all your products. You say so you might have 500 products, 1,000 products. It learns the products. Uh, it learns about your pages as a company. Then there's a place to set up a couple of things. One is that you can set up the avatar. You know, we can choose whatever we have, or you can say put your picture or your avatar, and we automatically convert them into a GIF to you know to be more interactive. Then second one is that you can give a name for your avatar. You could call Lisa or whatever name. You can create the name for the avatar. Give a background story for the avatar. The background could be the company CEO or whatever information. And talk about the brand. And also upload information that you want to talk to customers as well as set up those prompts. You know, the first prompts. You know, hey, uh, some of the customers said uh, best sellers, top sellers, or or some are selling wine, you know, or alcohol. Like, hey, this is the best scotch or scotch from France or uh, French wine. All this stuff can be prompted. And also what we're realizing is that AI is very smart in prompting again. The secondary prompts could be based on the conversation that is happening. So one of the things that because that when you come, and start talking, you know, like I can introduce myself as Thomas and I have some questions. We make sure that the AI knows what you're talking and continues the conversation. So that is the power of like, you know, right early chatbots, you talk, you don't, you lose the conversation. Here I say, example, I have a party uh, and I want to order, uh, you know, wine and spirits for my party, which is like, you know, what do you recommend? My budget is $3,000. So it knows that, okay, it recommends these things. You say you can add to cart and what about this stuff? You know, you can ask questions and keep on conversing. If it knows you, it knows you, hey, Thomas, it, these are the things you can suggest. You know, for one example is we have a, uh, you know, company that's selling saris, you know, I can go say my wife needs these saris. It, and the, this is the occasion that it keeps on talking to you. And it can be like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 conversations. It knows the history behind it. And you can summarize the history. The most important thing is that merchants don't have the visibility right now of what customers are getting. The customer might come and search for something, but here what we're not only, you know, including a sales assistant in, on the shop, online store, but also analytics, like how many people added to cart, whatever they're asking for. And also we are going to give recommendations to the merchant. Hey, most of the customers are asking about, uh, you know, discount code or something. Why don't you provide us as a prompt? So we can, even uh, we want to replace all the forms by something conversational. Hey, uh, you know, I mean, like instead of right now, we say you can go click an email, uh, you know, subscribe to our newsletter to get a 10% discount or, or discount code. So what happens is you take the chat off and, you know, some, go to the mail, they might, come, they might not come back. So we want to stay there, keep the conversation going, say, hey, you know what, send me, what is an email? So it'll automatically give the code to them and continue the conversation. So there's a lot of insights a merchant can get from chatting with upgrade.ai. So it will hold the merch, the, the customer throughout 
to make sure that the the brand and the the experience, you know it's it's the it's augmented for the merchant the revenue and the conversation so they can do whatever they have to do fine tuning at their end so this is going to be you know representation of them 24/7 Mm -hmm. I like the point that you with the analytics, you can find out what your best salesperson, which is hardworking for 24 seven is actually doing and what the outcome is so that you can fine tune it. Now, I saw that there is also a hands free mode. How does that work? So basically, what we want to do is, uh, you know, 70 percent of the shoppers are mobile. They're using uh, mobile phones to shop. So we want to give them a hands free experience where they can just open and talk to it and get their conversation. So like how you do with Siri or Alexa, we want to give that mode as part of the Shopify app system ecosystem. Okay, that sounds great. Are there any kind of specific industries or niches or verticals that work very well with um, sales assistance? That's a very good question. So one of the things is that what we realize is AI is so smart, such a way that we have tried this in every different scenario from... Uh, you know, liquor shop to a fashion boutique to a makeup store to or someone selling candles or someone selling cocktails or someone, it seems to be working. You know, some, we have customers who are selling expensive used watches. It works. So AI is smart and uh, you have to just train that with your pages. And you say, the most important thing is that the role that you want that to play, you know? So like that is very important. So like for one of, our, uh, when you're configuring, you say, suppose, I'm just saying you're selling uh, furniture. So you have to just say, I'm, this is a furniture sales assistant. Then automatically with the power of the generative AI, it acts as a, acts a furniture sales assistant. So one of the what I, what I, what examples, one of our customers was selling alcohol. You know, and so one of the prompts was, you know, is familiar. And, and the, the way model was, uh, you know, recommending fine wine, everything. But someone, one customer tried, hey, I'm a alcoholic. What should I buy? So immediately, the first version was saying, hey, you know what, I'm sorry to hear you're alcoholic, but you know, these, we'd recommend these wines. So then we kind of toned the model not to, hey, if something comes negative, don't try to sell, you know, stop being overselling. So all these things were configured in parameters. And it kind of beautifully, all the industries we tried, within five minutes, it started working. And that's the power of AI. And that is something which is really never seen. And it's before. showing a lot of empathy also, which is very important because some of the brands actually, especially if you're in children's clothing or, you know, if you sell religious products, then, you know, in that, the, the tone should be very different than what, you know, the general selling of say apparel or, you know, other, other products happen. So through tuning and through making them understand, they beautifully represent you, you you know, online. And th that's the power of AI. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I find myself asking, or when I ask ChatGPT, I put a please in there. So I think that's working in both directions, the empathetic part of it, <laughs> just being being friendly, even if it's, if it is AI. Um, how does the onboarding process look like? Are there any kind of homework a merchant has to do before they can get started? No, it's very simple. Just go to uh, you know, Shopify App Store, click on upgrade, search for upgrade.ai, Click on it, download it. Uh, it'll automatically, uh, you know, load the pages and products. And most importantly, preview that. You know, preview that in your uh, app store, in the Shopify app store ecosystem, to kind of change the color of the chat to your brand, change the personality, the image, the avatars, and give some background story. Then, once you're comfortable, ask some questions. You know, and make sure that it it's what you wanted. Uh, more, 90% of the time it'll work, 99% of the time it'll work, but 1% chance, hey, I want to make sure that I talk about these products or I want to recommend these stuff. You can also configure that, then it's reported. And yeah. most of our clients are live within less than five minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now the holiday season is coming up, busy season, um, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all the other holidays coming up. How would you um, implement this to increase your holiday sales on your store? Oh, absolutely. This would be the perfect time for the Shopify merchants to kind of become early adopters of Upgrade.ai. So we have a basic plan. We have a standard plan and then the enterprise plan with basic you. So uh, you get two um, of agents through a sales assistant that can help you. But what we are offering is the early adopters or the first hundred early adopters that we will have, we want to 
help them this uh, holiday season to augment their revenue through our upgrade, um, you know, shopping um, uh, experience through our sales assistant. So we will be actually upgrading them for free till December end so that they can see the value of what they are upgrade AI sales assistance is offering them. And, you know, we will actually work with them throughout this journey to make sure that they are successful um, in their um, uh, selling so that, you know, it can show what we have, um, uh, what innovative uh, product sales uh, assistant we have developed and what impact and value it's um, adding to the merchants. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's an awesome offer. I think a lot of people will take you up on that. Where can people find out more about you guys? So they can visit um, upgrade.ai is where, you know, our information is there. Also in the Shopify store, uh, app store, if they go and uh, search for upgrade.ai, they will be able to find us. But my email is very simple. It's P-R-I-Y-A at upgrade.ai. They can reach out to me or they can reach out to Thomas at upgrade.ai. We will be available to... Um, you know, respond to them and make sure that they are successful um, and answer any questions if they have regarding the app. Okay. Before we come to the end of the coffee break today, is there anything that you want to share with the listeners that we haven't covered yet? No, I think um, Thomas can add also, but um, as if we all know that we have to embrace AI and we, we as a company are in the uh, retail space where we are catering to all the industry verticals that are within the Shopify ecosystem. So we are here to help you uh, make your holiday season very successful and you know um, make you all understand the power of AI and how it's going to benefit. And we are a AI sales assistants. So we will be make, making sure that our, our product offers a dual balance, which is augmenting of revenue for the merchants through the shopping cart elevation and tailored experience to the customers, um, you know, through through the uh, chatting with um, our sales assistant. That is why we say it is chat to commerce, chat to cart. And just to add, um, so, you know, I've been working with retailers, retailers for 25 plus years. Typically, to this is a holiday time. They don't want to touch their systems and, you know, because they're busy and there's a, you know, but fundamentally this is the ai it is everything it just takes less than five minutes there's no integration required nothing it just takes less than five minutes just to install it and they can preview and see it beautifully working so there's it's like amazing how ai can learn your product learn your company learn about your uh, you know, information brand and start acting less than five minutes so, you know, a lot of retailers say, you know what, I'm just blackout because we want to focus on holiday, but this can help you uh, augment your sales and increase your sales. Number one. And number two, a lot of, hey, we have a chat bot for support. So what we're saying is great, keep that, but install Upgrade. Upgrade can be just a avatar of your face or a brand somewhere in the center or wherever you want. And also it could be part of your search too, you know, you can have it and they can, you can see the difference, how they can help any customer navigate, answer your questions, and most importantly, talk to your customer with your own brand and improve your sales and add more items from chat to cut. Yeah, I would recommend every listener to go to your website. I was on your website and um, I found one of your sales assistants, a chef. I started my professional career many, many years ago as a chef, as a cook. So I found this very interesting that this now has become um, artificial intelligence on that side. And just keeping in mind that a year ago, um, there was no chat GPT. I mean, we're just a year in and we have come so far. And I'm, I'm really think that there is so much potential um, and so many advantages for merchants and shoppers and using AI that they definitely should try it out. And Thomas, what you said earlier, there's only two groups, the ones that are using AI and the other ones looking at it and dying. <laughs> um, that, that's pretty, pretty sure. I'm 100% I'm with you on that one. Cool. I would put the links in the show notes. Then you're just one click away and hope that a lot of listeners will check it out. And thanks for your time today. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Hey, Klausia, thank you for tuning in to another episode. Before we wrap things up, I've got a couple of important points to share. 
Firstly, if you have enjoyed today's episode and want to support the show, here's a simple way to do it. Help me out with that algorithm magic by liking, commenting, and subscribing on your favorite podcast app. And if you're feeling extra generous, leaving a rating would be great. Your support helps me bringing more impactful guests on the show, and it makes it easier for others to discover the podcast. Secondly, I want to talk about to all your business owners out there. Here's a question. Are you tired of juggling everything in your business while struggling with your marketing tasks? Fed up with hit and miss experiences of hiring freelancers or agencies that don't quite get your vision? But perhaps you're not ready to commit to a full-time in-house marketer just yet. Well, I've got a solution for you. Introducing our fractional marketing team. My team and I provide top-notch experienced marketing professionals to become an extension of your business. Not only will they save you up to 50% on cost compared to traditional hires, but they also take care of all this time-consuming, repetitive and complex marketing tasks that have been holding you back. And this way, you can concentrate on what truly matters, the core of your business. To learn more about how we can help you to scale up your online sales with a fractional team member, head over to our website, smart-ecommerce-marketing.com, or reach out to me directly and I'll get you the details. You will find the links in the show notes. Thanks for being a part of our podcast community and remember your support means the world to me. Until next time, see you then.